what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it is officially time to give the new canoe a little test run but before i get it out there on the water i want to give you guys a little walk through of everything that i've done starting up in the front nothing special got the new canoe uh, motor guide mount bow mount with the motor guide quick disconnect and the motor guide xi3 pinpoint gps and then for the wiring, I just I did cut the uh, leads coming out of the motor and came right down into the front hatch, into this front little plate. So I think that came out pretty clean, pretty nice, very simple. And then moving on back, we have a temporary graph set up because I do eventually want to get the uh, gear pod when I get the gear pod this is all probably going to change but for now this will work so we have the yak attack switchblade transducer arm and we have the graph mounted on the lock and load bracket also integrated into the switchblade transducer arm bracket which is pretty nice and for now I just have the transducer cable spooled up and stuck in here and I actually just have my uh, 30 amp hour amped outdoors battery stuffed down in my little soft plastics box here under the seat. Like I said, this part of it is temporary. Um, I do eventually, I'm gonna get the gear pod and when I get the gear pod, I'm probably gonna move the graph to the middle of the boat. Coming on back, got the Yak Attack Black Pack Pro mounted down with Yak Attack tie downs. And these little cam straps I actually ordered off Amazon. It was like 15 bucks for a pack of six of these. So I just cut down some cam straps. I've got one on either side holding the black pack in. And then y'all let me know what you think about this battery box. I got this at Academy. But um, I got my breaker just Velcroed in here. Got my 100 amp hour amped outdoors lithium battery. And a through hole. Yak attack through hole on that side. So then you got the little wire coming out. And again, using that same plug in the back here. I'll link these plugs in the description. But uh, these things are super nice. They have caps. So when you're not using it, you can cap it off. Then I also have the two Yak Attack straps, you two Yak Attack tie downs to uh, use the can strap to strap this guy in. But I really like this box because it's got this big sturdy handle on it and I'll be able to pick this up one handed and put it in the back of the truck when it's time to move or whatever. But nothing fancy right now guys i'm still working on it gonna get some uh yak gadget accessories in for this thing i'm gonna do the gear pod but i gotta build some money back up first so for now this is how we're running it So I barely got this thing going and I'm doing 4.2 mile an hour, which is already faster than the Titan ever was. Um, full blast with the NK180, I could get about four and a half if I was pedaling along with it. Uh, 4.2 was about top speed in that Titan 10.5 uh, with the NK180. And it kind of sounds like it might be cavitating a little bit, so I'm thinking maybe I need to, uh, thinking I might need to go up there and drop it down a little bit more into the, a little bit further into the water. That's crazy. 
Talk about turning on a dime. That's turning on a dime. Pleasure boaters are officially out in full force. This is this is just such a huge deal. I mean, literally being 100% hands-free, and then you pair that and this stability with this seat. I mean, I could literally get back here and check my battery, whatever you know, from this from this seated pit. From this seated position, it's insane. This is crazy. I'm literally just trying to wait for a clear moment to cross over to the other side. He hit that one on the fall.
pretty good. Pretty good little bass. He smashed that one on the fall. and a half. Well, they're still eating the shaky head. This combination, this new Canoe Unlimited with that Motor Guide XI3 is, it's unreal guys. I mean, if I would have been in my Titan, I would have not caught that fish off of that dock over there. Especially with that wind that we have right now, all the boats on the lake that's you got all that boat weight going on. I would have not, I, I would have, it would have been impossible in the Titan to have stayed there and pick that dock apart like that. And I mean, the fact that this thing is stable enough that I mean, I can literally, I can do whatever I want to on it just about. I mean, you're not, you're gonna fall out of this thing before it tips. And it's stable enough to where like, you're really gonna have to do something to lose your balance and fall out of it. And I really, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just saying that because, you know, I'm Team New Canoe Local now. Like, I wanted to make this switch. I wanted this kayak. I wanted this motor guy because I knew that this setup right here is, in my opinion, superior to anything else on the market. Spot lock works flawlessly on this thing. I mean, it. it we have about a 10 to 15 mile an hour gust today, so. I can see where people are saying, you know, you might want to put the rudder on this boat. Um, because the back end does drift a little bit in the wind, but if you point this thing into the wind and then hit that anchor button, you're planted. You're not going anywhere. And, you know, you can turn yourself however you need to turn yourself to fish that spot that you're trying to fish. Like, it, it's insane. The only thing I will say is, like I said, if you're moving at all and you hit that anchor button, you better hold on to something. Because it's got, you know, it, it stops you. It's trying to stop you right exactly where you push that anchor, anchor button at. So uh, it really slows you down fast. But if you, if you let yourself kind of coast in and almost come to a stop before you press the anchor button, it ain't that bad. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. I just stood up, turned around, no problems. That's, that's the only problem I'm really having with this setup.
the only issue I'm having with this setup right now is the rods are in my way. I've got to get that horizontal rod stagers on this kayak. Then you really will be able to fish around this thing 360 degrees. Trying to get a frog bite going on out here. I don't know. I'm throwing it and hoping and praying something will blow up on it. Like, there you go, guys. It's one foot. One foot. I'm really trying to decide what I want to do. I definitely didn't catch a lot of fish, but that wasn't why I really came out here. Just wanted to test this kayak out, this new setup, and um, I'm, I'm blown away, guys. I, I could talk and talk and talk about it and keep saying it over and over and over again, but if you've never been in a new canoe, try to find somebody that'll let you demo one because it is unbelievable. I promise you, if you get in one and spend a little bit of time in it, <clears throat> you'll convert and you'll be fishing out of a new canoe yourself and you know in this too but i cannot thank boats and motors of dalton enough for making this possible and uh allowing me this opportunity to be on uh, to be a team new canoe local so i don't know i'm gonna fish this pocket out a little bit more here and um uh, i'll probably start heading back towards the towards the car and uh I'm half tempted to take tomorrow off. I got a little PTO time built up. Take tomorrow off and come out here. There won't be as many people out here on a Monday morning, I wouldn't think, so. We'll see what happens. I've been throwing this fluke around today. Fun fact. When I was first introduced to bass fishing, I was given a spinning rod and a fluke. And I was fishing their farm their farm pond, this guy's pond, and uh, he gave me the fluke. And uh, I caught my first bass on a pearl white fluke, and it was almost a five pounder. And uh, that's what got me hooked. So, I haven't fished a fluke in forever. And, um, you know, I've got this medium fast action X Pride. I've been trying to find a good place for it. Obviously, it's the jerk bait rod. So, you know, I thought, why not throw, try and throw a weightless fluke on it? So I did, and it's working out awesome. Um, I did get a bite on this earlier, I just missed him. So maybe if I keep it in my hand long enough, I can catch one on the flute, which would be awesome. We're supposed to have a storm coming in on us and it is definitely starting to look a little dark back there so uh, I'm going to 
start easing back towards the truck. Oh crap, it's getting dark fast. That came out of nowhere. It wasn't supposed to do anything till tomorrow. made it off the water there's definitely a storm blowing in I'm telling you this Tennessee weather just has a mind of its own uh, sunny one minute about to rain down hellfire on you the next so uh, <clears throat> didn't didn't catch a lot of fish today uh, you know if you've ever switched into a new boat then you know you understand I mean it takes a minute kind of getting used to it getting comfortable in it getting some confidence in it and uh figuring out you know how you're gonna fish out of it basically and uh towards the end there i, I definitely kind of started to forget about the boat you know when you start to kind of just forget about the boat and you can just fish like that's when you start really that's when you really start kind of jiving <laughs> i guess you i don't know how else to say it but everything just kind of falls into a groove and uh but this unlimited man it is it's crazy how stable this boat is I, I honestly i have no words you just you have to try it for yourself but uh don't forget guys may 15th we're drawing the winner for the tackle warehouse gift card giveaway so uh again i'll put the link down in the description and uh, I'll put the instructions down there on what you need to do to get entered. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.